Hello everyone and welcome to WTA Live from the red carpet presented by Xerox. I'm your host Kristen Aldridge and we are here at the Kensington Rooftop Gardens, of course in the heart of London for tonight's WTA pre-Wimbledon party presented by Dubai Duty Free. I have to say I am so excited to be here because this is one of the biggest and most glamorous events on the WTA calendar and of course the opening to next week's Grand Slam. Now of course fashion has always been a big part of tennis and Tonight is no different, so we're going to be seeing a whole lot of red carpet style tonight. But first, we have a very special surprise for you because we have the one and only Lee Na joining us right away. Hello, Lee. Hi. I have to say, I saw you coming down the red carpet in this jumpsuit. It is gorgeous. Oh, yeah, because I think two days ago I was putting the Facebook. I asked my fans, I said, I should wear the dress or, but they say, I think. 80% say dress, and they say, okay, I make the deal. So I'm not with the dress. You went the opposite direction. I like it. Who, who is this by? It is so cute. Uh, Coochie. Yeah, Coochie. Yeah, I, I pretty like have, them. We're going to have the camera pan down. Can you do a little spin for us, too? It's like all business in the front, but a little party in the back. Yeah, I know. I mean, I was pretty, pretty, pretty happy, you know, because every time the fans only can see on the court, you know, after the court, we have uh, makeup and the hair a little bit different, and also they can see different. Absolutely. So how does it feel to be here at the WTA party? What do you look forward to most when you come here? You know, most of the exciting time was when after makeup and dress up and you can see totally different. You, know? you say, oh, look different. Uh -huh. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. What do you think makes this party better and different than all the rest? Because it's definitely one of the most glamorous events of the year. Yeah, no, I think uh, they have a lot of fans who was waiting for us and also have a, a lot of, how to say, sponsor. Uh, you can meet you can meet the player special after makeup, you know, <laughs> so you can see different, different way. And how do you, what do you think? Do you like getting all dressed up for events or do you kind of prefer your tennis gear? No, I always pretty like it, but the one thing for me is uh, I have to wear the high heel. And it's a little bit tough for me. So burning question, who's the better dancer, you or your husband? Before drink, drunk or after? <laughs> Probably after a glass of wine or two. Okay, I am. <laughs> yeah. Who's the first to get out on the dance floor? Do you both like dancing? For sure, not my husband. Really? No, no. So, so you're going to have to feed him some wine and get him out on that carpet. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. And how are you feeling headed into Wimbledon? I was pretty, uh, feel pretty exciting, you know. I'm always looking forward and come back and good challenge for me as well. And what about London? There's so many wonderful things to do here. Do you have any favorite hot spots or any places you like to hit when you come here? Oh, um... I was I was been here already a couple of days, but I didn't have time to look in the run. You know, I have to prepare for the tournament, so I wish I have the time. After the tournament, I will go see a run. You know, and are events like this, is this kind of a welcome distraction, or do you find it a little bit stressful knowing that you have a huge Grand Slam to prepare for? I mean, you know, um, that's matter what you do. Like, good or bad already passed, so you have to focus on this moment. Yeah. And, you know, I have to ask, there are so many media here, so many outlets from all around the world. What goes through your mind as you walk down the red carpet and have to pose and talk to all of them? Is it nerve wracking? So where's China media? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I think uh, the, all the media was pretty friend, friendly sure, because sure. Uh, we didn't say meet every week, but at least we meet so many times. So they know us and also we know who they are. We're all friendly. Good to know. Well, thank you. You look gorgeous tonight. So have a blast and good luck at Wimbledon. Oh, thank, you. thank you. So wonderful thank seeing you. you. All right. So we have lots more action on the red carpet. Right now, I think we're going to go to Laura Robson. Come on over. Do you mind? Hi. Oh, my gosh. You look lovely. Thank you. You too. So I know you've been nursing that wrist. How are you feeling? Well, tonight it's more of a fashion accessory <laughs> with my cast. But um, Very true. Yeah, rehab has just started, but it's going well so far, and I'm looking forward to being back on court soon. And actually, you have quite an exciting gig because you're going to be commenting for the BBC and doing a little style diary for Grazia magazine. Tell us about that. It's really exciting. I get to look fabulous every day and, you know, wear heels all the time. So I'm looking forward to it, and um, hopefully I'll be able to watch some really great tennis. And what do you think about coming to this party? What makes it so special being here in London that you look forward to? 
Well, it's my hometown, so obviously I'm a little bit biased, but this <laughs> player party is always the biggest one of the year. Everyone gets so dressed up and looks amazing. And I've always, already seen some amazing outfits, like Lina looks phenomenal tonight. That jumpsuit I want. Oh, me too. <laughs> I'm so jealous. <laughs> and speaking of, who are you wearing? I'm wearing Preen and Sophia Webster, so I've got like funky shoes on. Mm -hmm. We have to pan down to her shoes. Those are so cute. <laughs> They're also very tough to walk in, so hopefully you won't see me stumbling later. And how do you like getting dressed up for events like this? Do you like your tennis comfies or do you like kind of rocking the dress? I am partial to a tracksuit, but I do love dressing up at the same time. So, you know, I love getting my hair and makeup done, that sort of thing, and feeling fabulous, <laughs> as I'm sure every, every girl does. Yeah. And how many dresses? I know for girls, we usually have to try on several dresses to be able to make the decision. So how many dresses did you try on? Um, probably about eight. Um, okay. Yeah. And it was kind of all variations of the same thing, but I just had to find the one that worked the best. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Picked. We picked perfectly because this is pretty fabulous. So thank you so much for stopping by. Have a fun time tonight and good Me luck too. with everything. Thank you so much. All right, so coming up next, you know, fashion, as I said earlier, was all about tennis and red carpet style. So we are actually going to show you guys some of the best looks from 2013. Take a look. So tell me who you're wearing tonight. Um, it's London and I love um, Christopher Bailey so I'm dressed and everything's very very from head to toe. Tell me who you're wearing and the thought process in the whole ensemble. Well I had a couple of choices. I had um, actually a custom made dress uh, but I, I thought that um, you know I, I love black color. It's one of my favorites and I bought this gorgeous belt in Paris. So I'm going to have them pan down so we can show the fans how gorgeous your shoes are. And what shoes are those? Same design? Jimmy Choo. I'm wearing Burberry tonight. I thought I'd go pretty classy. I've got diamonds and little calfskin material. I don't do too many red carpets, so when I do a red carpet, I'm, I get really excited. I like to plan ahead. I want to know what I'm wearing. So yeah, I usually, you know, it takes a, a while to put things together. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'm head to toe in Burberry today. I finished training at about 5.30, and so then got in a car straight and, you know, got my hair and makeup done and came straight here. So yeah. Very rushed. You wouldn't know. You look fantastic. Well, I'm wearing uh, Alexander McQueen dress, um, La Boutin shoes, and Louis Vuitton handbag. I think we need to take a shot of her shoes down here because they're absolutely beautiful with the colors. I'm wearing Matthew Williamson. I love his design and I always, it's my go to dress. I love it. I love the style and I feel very comfortable in it, which is very important too. And um, it's standing out on the red carpet. I think it's fun to, you know, be able to let our hair down and wear something other than a tennis skirt. So um, it'll be fun to be in normal clothes. Welcome back to WTA Live from the red carpet presented by Xerox. I am here, of course, with the stunning Anna Ivanovich. You look gorgeous tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm wearing Xerox and the Vintage. Oh, can you do a little spin for us? Because the color blocking on this dress is fabulous. So beautiful. It looks comfortable, too. It is very comfortable and very, I love the color. I love the pop-up of the color. So um, it was really nice. Uh, nice dress, nice design. And by the way, congratulations are in order for winning Birmingham. How are you feeling coming into Wimbledon? You must be feeling pretty good. Yeah, it's my first title ever in grass, so I'm really excited about that. And um, this week I've been training in Wimbledon courts and preparing for a tournament. And um, I, yeah, I really hope it's going to go well this year. And you, of course, have a wonderful partnership with Dubai Duty Free, who is making this event happen tonight. Tell us about some of the special things you've been doing with them. Yeah, Dubai Duty Free has been um, a great um, partner for women's tennis, and I've been their ambassador for a few years now, and uh, I always enjoy, and it's, uh, it's great to see they're growing, and they are, uh, you know, supporting us through, through the years. Mm -hmm. It is such a fabulous party. For those of people watching that haven't been inside, what can we expect to see behind those closed doors? Does it get a little crazy? Uh, yeah, definitely. There's a lot of people <laughs> dancing, you know, they have a photo booth and uh, it's, it, it does get a little bit, um, you know, tipsy as well for some people, I guess. Uh, but uh, I don't know. It also depends how long you stick around. Sure. <laughs> 
And of all the WTA players, who do you think is the first one to get out onto that dance floor? Oh, actually, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm sure there is uh, quite a few um, also <laughs> coaches keen to get on. <laughs> Now we have some fan questions for you. This one is from Keith Holland on Facebook. What has been your biggest improvement this year? Well, I think consistency. You know, I've been playing a lot of matches and uh, winning a lot of matches, so this is something that I aim for a while, so it's, it's really nice to, to see that happen. Wonderful. And next question is from Michael Zich on Facebook. What do you like to do when you have free time? I'm sure you don't have a lot of it, but when you do, what do you like to do? I love to read. Um, I, I really enjoy it because uh, we do um, sports all the time. You know, we are very active, so we cannot really, um, you know, chill out by going for a run, you know, or going shopping because it's still uh, energy consuming. So I prefer to read and watch movies. Wonderful. And we have time for one more question from Stephanie Post on Facebook. Do you have any secret hidden talents? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. No, I mean, um, I, I like I like psychology and I love um, you know languages and stuff. But yeah, no, <laughs> unfortunately. All right, well, tennis is a huge talent of yours. So and dressing amazingly. So thank, thank you. you for stopping by. Have a wonderful time tonight, and of course, good luck at Wimbledon. So thank, thank you. you so much. You have a great time. All right. So next up, we have the very lovely Serana Kirstea. Hello. Hi. Actually, I'm going to scooch over here. Yes. You are a vision in blue my darling thank you I said a little bit of color would be nice this year <laughs> That's right, because you were wearing black last year, I think, yes? Uh, definitely. I think out of the four years, two times I was wearing black and two times white. So this year I definitely said I need a change. You brought the color. It's very cute. And the shoes. We have to get the shoes. Yeah, the shoes are the, the main focus of the of tonight, so definitely. They're, they're very cute, but how are they to walk in? Are you doing okay? They're actually very comfortable. They're not too high, and uh, I'm, I'm quite good with high heels. Okay. So, so I think I should be fine for this event. How long, I know for me as a girl, it takes so long for me to get ready. How long did it take you to get ready tonight? Um, not too bad, I think an hour, but... Uh, Natural yes. beauty. <laughs> Usually I take less, but tonight I really had to put a little more effort and, uh, and look decent for this, uh, this great event. I actually saw you in the Aura Flame style suite, so we were kind of getting pampered and getting our glam on. That's fun to get your hair and makeup done, isn't it? Uh, definitely. It doesn't happen very often, maybe two, three times a year, but uh, it's nice when someone else takes care of you and uh, they make sure you look p uh, picture perfect. And uh, I think we are very spoiled from this point of view, but uh, of course we are girls and uh, as you know, we enjoy this. So uh, it's, uh, it's been a fun day so far. What do you think, as a female, what's most important to you when you're getting red carpet ready? Is it the shoes? Is it the purse? The hair? The dress? The jewelry? What do you think? What do you focus on? Uh, first of all, I think the attitude. You really have to be relaxed and take it take it as a fun event, you know, a uh, way to show your personality. And uh, I think tonight I started from the shoes. First I had the shoes and then I said, okay, what dress will match the shoes? So I'm not big on, uh, on jewelry, you know, so uh, I think the for me it's always a dress and the shoes. and uh, and. Uh, I smile that always makes uh, makes it better well, you definitely have that so you have it going on for sure thank well thank you so much have a great time tonight good luck at the tournament and so great to see you always a pleasure. always thank you, always. Thank thank you thank darling you. see you soon all right so now I am really excited about our next guest DJ Bob Sinclair I've been a fan of for a really long time come on in so good to see nice you, to meet you. So I hear you are a really big tennis fan aren't you mm more than that more than that you know i always say that my work is tennis and my job is in my um, my hobby is uh, is music so they're all crazy because i'm everywhere and all the tennis player i have sometimes the badge so i can enter in in um, in every place in how, how how can you enter here in the rooms uh, in the court in the, i love to see them training eating i'm a big fan really and we know you're good on the dj booth but how are you on the court can you play I play. You do? I play. A little bit but I'm playing. I'm playing. What's your best what's your best stroke? Um, the cheap. <laughs> you know? Backhand cheap. Drop off. No, no, no. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna think about that next time I play you. I'm, I might not want to because I'm not a very fast runner up to the net, so Yes. Okay. I can play with you anytime. <laughs> cool. So you have some fun tonight because you're actually spinning for the party, so tell us about what we can expect to see. A lot of my tunes. A lot of my music. I try to do that, you know, as much as I can, combine it with tennis. You heard about the, the Journée des Enfants in Roland Garros for the charity day. So since uh, four years now, we organize that. So huge sound system, tennis player enjoying the moment and for the kids. So it's unbelievable. So I try to do that for a few tournaments. 
I cannot wait to bust a move on the dance floor. So I will see you in there a little later. Thank you again. So nice to see you. All right. So I just want to tell you guys, WTA has this pink carpet totally covered. Not only do we have this camera right here, but we've got three cameras down on the other end of the carpet. So while I take a quick break, check out what's happening on the other end of the carpet. Take a look, guys. All right, everybody. I'm here, of course, with Anastasia. You look gorgeous. Thank you. You too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so give us a scoop. Who are you wearing tonight? I'm wearing David Gomez. Every year I'm really pleased to have his dress, and every year I'm looking forward so, uh, for some nice new dresses from him. So uh, nice. How many dresses did you have to try on to, to discover this one? Um, Actually, just one. Oh, wow. Yeah, I saw a picky girl. girl. Yeah, I think so. And uh, <laughs> it was easy and quick. So I just uh, saw a picture of this dress and I said, yeah, I think we're going for it. And also I asked his opinion, of course, and we decided. And how are you with dressing up? Because I know wearing heels can be some t somewhat tiresome for a long night. Are you OK or do you rather wear your tennis comfies? Well, of course, uh, the heels. I prefer the heels because definitely you, you look nicer. But um, yeah, but it's it's less comfortable, of course. And I'm used to the sports coat, to the tennis shoes. So I probably would go for more like comfy stuff, you know. And when you do pick out an outfit, what's most important to you? Do you center it around the shoes, the purse, the accessories, the dress, or the hair and makeup? I think I first pick up the dress. And then, of course, the shoes. And then I go around the outfit. We haven't seen your shoes. Oh, those are like a staple. Yeah, it's they make it. your legs look so long. That was an idea, but I, I hope, I hope, you know. It's <laughs> got great legs. Absolutely. So tell us, what makes this party so special? Because it's definitely one of the most glamorous events of the year. So that's the thing, uh, because it's very glamorous. And I think, of course, all the girls, and especially us, will love, you know, being dressed up, nice makeup, and... Uh, to have this real um, red carpet and um, it's amazing, we love it. If you could bring any plus one to a party, who would you bring and why? Anyone in the entire world? Vladimir Putin. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, that's a very, very interesting plus one. <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm very patriotic, you know? Sure, sure. Yeah. And what do you think of all the WTA players, who do you think is going to be the first one to bust a move on the dance floor? Uh, WTA tennis player. Is there anyone that's known for really loving to dance? It would be me, probably. Really? Uh, can you give us a little preview of some of your dance moves? Um. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't know. It depends. I like to dance, and I think a lot of girls, actually, they love to dance. Yeah, yes. Absolutely. And how are you feeling headed into Wimbledon? Good, good. You know, uh, yeah, uh, I've been in this burn last week, so um, I, I start to like the grass more and more. So hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, and uh, I'll hopefully I'll be ready for Wimbledon. Wonderful. We're, we're definitely going to be watching out for you. Good luck yes. at the tournament. Have Thank fun you. tonight. I'll Thank see you on the dance floor later, okay? <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to take a quick break, and in the meantime, you guys can check out what's happening on the other end of the carpet. So take a look. And I have
have another WTA rising star with me, Donna. And I have to say, we were getting our makeup done next to each other in the Aura Flame Style Suite. How fun was that? Yeah, it was really fun. You know, it's not something we do get to do every day, so it's a nice, a nice change up. You look amazing, by the way. Who are you wearing? I'm wearing Pinka. I was going to wear a crop top and a skirt, and I was really excited to wear it. <laughs> We have to get those shoes because I'm a big shoe girl, so we're checking those out. How are those to walk in? Are they okay? Um, they're actually okay. I mean, I was expecting them to be a little bit harder, but they're fine. <laughs> Now, we are here, of course, at the WTA party, and this is one of the biggest and most glamorous events of the year. What do you think sets it apart from all the rest? What makes it so special? Well, first of all, because it's in London, my favorite place in the world, and it, Wimbledon is uh, one of the, definitely my favorite Grand Slam, so I'm very excited for it. And when you do come to London, what do you like to do? What are some hot spots that are, that are your favorite places? Well, the Roof Gardens is definitely one of my favorite places to come to because, you know, I spend a lot of time in Kensington, so it's, it's very nice to come here, even for, even for the party. Sure, sure. And how are you on the dance floor? Are you are you pretty good? <laughs> no, no, I'll, I'll be I'll be sitting today. No, no dancing. Yeah. What, what if we have maybe a little bit encouragement from me later on tonight? Will you join me? Yeah, maybe I will. <laughs> okay, wonderful. And what would you say is kind of some of your favorite memories from things like this? Do you get nervous coming down the red carpet, or is it all in stride? I was just in the car with my friends, and I'm like, yeah, I'm a bit nervous, but you know, it's just kind of the same feeling as when going on court to play a match. So it's a it's a good match prep, I could say. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. You look amazing. Have a blast tonight. All right, thank you, darling. All right, so we're gonna check out what's happening at the other end of the carpet. Take a look. We are back, and I am here, of course, with Venus Williams, sparkling goddess of the red carpet. Hi, thank you. Yay! And you know, actually, I was going to say, out of a scale of 1 to 10, you look like an 11. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Thank you for, for that. <laughs> Thanks. And you really are quite the fashionista on and off court. I know you've got your own fashion line. Is what you see on the runways, does that influence you on what you might wear? On the court? Um, yeah, sometimes um, it's influenced by the runways, but sometimes um, not. It just depends. Um, you know, obviously you never forget that it's sportswear. It's sure, got to perform. Sure. It's got to hopefully look good. You know. Are you going to wear something from your collection at Wimbledon? Um, no, I probably will wear it. No, I, I, yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> that was an easy question, yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> And what do you think makes the WTA party so special? Because this definitely is one of the most glamorous events of the year. What do you love about it? Ah, I love the Kensington Gardens. It's um, beautiful. I love gardens. I'm a little bit of a nerd, so it's kind of one of my <laughs> hobbies that I don't talk about much. So it's an, a pleasure to be here. And I believe your sister is here as well. Has she already arrived? I haven't seen her yet, but I was going to ask you I burning questions. Yeah. <laughs> Who actually takes longer to get ready, you or her? Definitely her. I'm, okay. I'm definitely one of those girls that just wanted to be ready yesterday and I get ready as fast as possible and I think she likes the process, so ah. definitely me. Do you borrow each other's clothes? Do you give each other fashion advice? Yeah, I often find things in her closet that are mine. Um, it's never really the other way around, but um, we always definitely give each other advice and we're, we're pretty much the same size in a lot of stuff. I'd love to have a sister to be able to borrow some clothes from. That'd be really nice. Yeah, you don't give it back, but if it makes them happy, then <laughs> you could always borrow it when you need it to. Now, I've been asking a lot of girls here, big events like this are always fun, but is it at all stressful knowing that you have a Grand Slam to prepare for? I don't stress out. I don't know about anyone else, though. I'm just a really laid-back person, so why stress when you can just relax and go with the flow? Absolutely. Have fun and go dancing, right? Um, yeah, I mean, I'll be doing a lot of short steps on the court. I, sure. Dancing is probably not an option right now. Sure. Although, I do dance. <laughs> if you'd like to battle later. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let's call it right now. All right. <laughs> Very cool. Well, thank you so much for everything. Good luck this week, and thank you. thank you again. So have fun tonight. I will see you on the dance floor a little bit later. <laughs> All right, next up, we, of course, have Maria Sharapova. Welcome. You always just look so, so gorgeous. Who are you wearing? I'm wearing Antonio Berardi tonight. Okay, wonderful. Yes. How did you pick this dress? 
Um, I had a fitting a couple of nights ago because I had a couple of events here for Sugar Pova and just got done with that. So I came here, so I wanted to make sure. I've been on the road for a long time, so I couldn't pack too much stuff. So it was really nice to, uh, to be able to choose a dress. And of course, congratulations are in order for Roland Garros. Phenomenal. How are you feeling headed into Wimbledon? You must be feeling pretty good. I do. I feel great. But it's such a quick turnaround between the events, and you really just want to focus on what's ahead of you and not think about too much of your success and just uh, really come into the tournament. Uh, of course, you're only as good as your last tournament, which was a huge victory for me. But you start from scratch at Wimbledon, and um, I'll be starting from the first round. Something very exciting. You had a Sugar Pova pop-up shop here in Wimbledon. Did, Tell yes. us about that. Yeah, well, last year as I was going through the village and I saw the excitement build around Wimbledon. It's usually a very quiet town, but I thought, what? A, yeah, I don't see a candy shop in the Wimbledon <laughs> village <laughs> and not too many candy lounge experiences. So I thought if I could get a good space, and I did. Um, so we rented out the space for the weeks of the tournament, and um, it's been so fun putting it all together. Something that I love is I saw your team and you put out a really cute social media video of dancing to oh, Pharrell's dance. Happy. Okay. Are we going to see you guys do that tonight maybe? I don't think so. <laughs> it was a really cute video. It was really fun. We had we did that in Australia actually. Yeah, we did. And uh, we edited it in a few different ways, but it was really it was fun how it came together. How yeah. long did it take to put it all together? Oh, actually my coach Sven was in charge of the editing and uh, we just kind of just played around with it and had a lot of fun. Yeah. And you know, I know that you are a red carpet pro and you've talked to so much media, but do these events ever get intimidating knowing that you have so many people to talk to and so many photographers wanting to take pictures of you? It's such a different moment in our careers. We, we live such a fast paced life and we have such, I don't know, we just go from hotel to the courts and this is just a really, it's glamorous. It's nice to be able to dress up and do your hair and makeup and it's just so unusual and I really, I enjoy the whole process of it. If you could have a plus one to any party, any guests that you could bring with, who would you choose and why? Well, tonight would be my boyfriend. I don't think he's coming to the party tonight, but <laughs> I don't know. He might show up later, but he told me I didn't invite him, but I'm like, this is not like the place that we usually go together. So, <laughs> so it would be nice to have him and do a little slow dance or something, yeah, exactly. right? Uh, well, I'm not sure about the slow dance. We'll save that for later. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Good you. luck at Wimbledon. Congratulations on Roland Garros. You. you look stunning, and I will see you very soon. Yes, Thank definitely. you so much. All right, so as I was saying earlier, I got a little pampering today in the Aura Flame Style Suite. So a special thanks to you guys for helping me get red carpet ready tonight. And we actually have a little surprise for you guys because we're going to show you the last couple of years and some behind the scenes. So take a look.
are watching WTA Live from the red carpet presented by Xerox. I'm here with Porsche factory driver Mark Weber. Boy, you made an entrance on this red carpet today. Not too bad, was it? I think the 918 Spider is always a showstopper when people get to see that in the flesh. It's brilliant. And uh, Maria being there as well, obviously, it's a bit of a, uh, it's a nice subject, obviously. So, um, yeah, she's very relaxed. And uh, it was nice to bring her here tonight in the car. And, uh, you know, everyone's in the build-up ready for Wimbledon. We know you're good on the racetrack, but how's your skills on the court? Not too bad. I've played a little bit over the years in Australia. Uh, I certainly am a tennis fan. I enjoy watching it. And, uh, yeah, it was. Uh, we've had a few Australian friends do very well at Wimbledon over the years. And, uh, yeah, so I can certainly hit a tennis ball. I wouldn't want to take on any of the pros, but, uh, yeah, it's good fun. Wonderful. How many times have you been to the WTA pre-Wimbledon party? Uh, this is the first time to this, but I've been to Wimbledon about five or six times. So, uh, yeah, I enjoy the tournament, and I'm going to go there, uh, again this year. So I'm sure you've heard a lot about this party. It's definitely one of the most glamorous on the WTA calendar. What are you most looking forward to for tonight? Well, um, yeah, hopefully maybe listen to some of the uh, the players have a little bit of a talk here and there and hear how they're, they're ready to go for the tournament. But, um, yeah, obviously a little bit of champagne and chill out and relax. And, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I competed last weekend, so I'm, uh, I've got a weekend off. And, of course, I'm always asking all the girls about their fashion, so I have to ask you, you look very dapper. Who are you wearing? A um, little bit of Prada tonight, so uh, yeah, it's very, uh, yeah, bit of Prada. And we have to get his shoes as well because they are fabulous. Yeah, they match the car tonight actually, so we went for the blue suede, so <laughs> can't go the wrong. The blue suede shoes, can't go wrong. Well, wonderful, thank you. Have a blast tonight for your first time at the no party. Worries. It was yeah. great to see you. All right, thank Cheers you, thank you. All right, so next up we have Daniela, and I think she's coming right behind me. And all oh, there she is. Hi, come on over. Are you freezing on this carpet? Because I, I'm really freezing. I am actually. It was so beautiful during the day and it yes. just got silly, it's chilly. I know the sun goes down and the goosebumps come yeah. out. All oh, right, then we have to pretend like we're loving it. <laughs> what do you think? How many dresses did you try on? Because this was a fantastic choice. Uh, I actually uh, put it on and I knew that that's what I was going to wear tonight. Yeah. How long did it take you to get ready? Um, we've been up uh, up there for like an hour to get the, the hair and makeup done, so I think just a decent time. Not bad at all. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about events like this? Because I know with the Grand Slam coming up, there's a lot to think about. There's a lot to prepare for. Are moments like this a welcome distraction, or is it actually more stressful? No, it, it is actually nice to kind of take the mind off tennis for for you know a few hours at least, because otherwise we just I think sometimes are too focused and you know we are living in our own little bubble. So it's nice to get out and do something different. What actually goes through your mind when you head down that red carpet and you see the sea of media and photographers calling your name? Is that intimidating? Uh, it is a little bit. Yeah, it's something I think you never can really get used to. Um, but you know, it's it's a wonderful privilege to be in this position, and uh, I appreciate every minute of it. Have you mastered the red carpet pose? <laughs> I think I did after <laughs> all these years. Yeah. You want to give us a little preview? Because I'm terrible at it. Oh gosh, I don't know. It's just um, you know whatever comes naturally yeah, yeah. Well, when you look like a supermodel it's probably not very difficult <laughs> seriously you look stunning so as a girl do you kind of center your look around the shoes the purse the hair the dress what do you start with and then build from there uh, well I always start with the dress um, the thing is because we travel so much sometimes we are limited with you know how much we can really carry around us so the main thing is the dress the shoes and everything else comes after that <laughs> What are you most looking forward to tonight at the pre-Wimbledon party? Um, just maybe meeting different people and uh, just talking about different things outside tennis. <laughs> Hopefully. It's a, it's a nice distraction, absolutely. Well, good luck and thank, thank you. you so much. Have thank fun you. tonight. Thanks. And as always, we're going to show you a glimpse of all the action happening at the end of the carpet. So take a look. It's busy down there.
Hello. Hello. I, you, we are live. <laughs> we are Back live. From London. I was. I, I've missed you so much. I haven't oh, seen you since I Miami. Know. Indian Wells wasn't in Miami. Oh, you weren't in Miami. So, so it's been so long. It's been, even longer, it's been yeah. three months. I know, I know, but I'm back. <laughs> okay, so you have to tell me about this fabulous outfit because it's like a party in the back. It's very sheer, very sexy. Well, you know, we started the thing going on on Twitter earlier with Andrea, and I hope, is she here, by the way? Cause I, she she was the she first to arrive. No dress code. At least I went halfway. <laughs> she didn't. If she didn't, I'm going to battle her tomorrow. I'm going to battle her. Who is this ensemble by? Who's it by? I have no idea. I just bought it. I just bought it. I don't know the brands really much, but I, I think I, I like how it looks. Yeah. I put it together this morning. My, uh, okay. my physio helped to iron it because I have no idea how to iron. Um, Mom, please teach me next time. So, yeah, but it's, I like it. How long does it take you to get ready for a red carpet event like this? It took me about two hours to put it all together because, you know, we got to do the makeup for the feet because we have the 10 lines. It takes a long time. Yes, we do. <sighs> long hair. Yep. I'm not complaining, though. <laughs> not do, you, do you have an entourage help get you ready, or do you do this all yourself? Oh, no. I had a very wonderful lady come to the house and help me out. She was, uh, she was absolutely terrific, and I think she did a good job. Perfect. Yes, she did. So what do you think, out of all of these players, who is the first one to get on that dance floor? Um, from the WT? Yeah. Uh, who is it gonna be? I heard that Agnieszka Radvanska is a, like a little bit of a party animal. I've, I haven't seen it, so I'm yes. like looking forward to witness that. Um, but I mean, the girls, all the girls can dance. I bet, I bet you, I can get on the dance floor. I don't know if I will, but. I know, you, you've done some moves on the show. You know, it's funny, I'm just realizing I'm wearing the same dress as a girl right down the red carpet. We're gonna see that, that's funny. I like your dress, Sloane Stevens. <laughs> That's very funny. You you look way better in it than I do, though. Come on, girl. You are rocking that. That's very funny. I had a feeling that might happen. Well, I had an, I didn't have that feeling, but that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I feel honored that I'm wearing the same dress as a as a wonderful tennis player. So, oh yes, let's my ring. Your manicure is on point as well. It is. I'm supporting Argentina in World Cup. I don't know. It doesn't really fit with that outfit, but I don't care. I'm a fan. Let's go Argentina and let's go Messi. I love you. Let's go. It's time. It's time. You know, it's funny. Speaking of the World Cup, we actually have monitors set up inside the party because England is playing Uruguay tonight. So I know a lot of people are obsessed with the television. Oh my God. We have a poll in the house going on. Like, the windows are covered with papers and scores and everything and so I was actually surprised that I'm on the second place but I gotta win I gotta win the poll is really interesting yeah so what do you think if you could have a plus one to any party especially tonight's party who would you bring and why plus one oh my god the list will be long <laughs> wow can I get plus ten Sure. Plus 10. Oh, I don't know. You like to go in big entourages? Oh, yes. A lot of entourage. Um, I don't know. I would love to see one of my friends. Like, I would take Gael Monfils because he will rock the, f rock the dance floor. I would take my other friend who never goes to the parties. But I would try to drag him down here. Yeah. Well, have fun. I'm going to see you in there a little bit later. Oh, yeah, we're doing and live in there, too. Oh, Jeannie Bouchard's next. I'm just announcing it, and I'll see you guys. <laughs> Thank have you. Fun. Mwah. Bye. Thank you, Vika. All right, so, of course, we have Jeannie Bouchard coming up next. Beautiful in blue. You look stunning, girlfriend. Thank you. Uh, so tell us, who are you wearing? <laughs> you look more stunning than me, but anyway. Oh, no, never. <laughs> who are you um, wearing? I'm wearing Rag and Bone. I'm, it's my current obsession. I'm in love with them. I have all my clothes, casual clothes. It's pretty much Rag and Bone. So I'm excited to be wearing them tonight. And uh, it's one of a few dresses, actually, that Anna went to. I'm friends with her a little bit. And so she sent me a few. She wanted me to be ready for this party. So I got to pick um, this one out of a few of them. And um, I think she'll actually be at Wimbledon. But um, of course, you know, it's like the biggest tournament of the year, probably the most glamorous uh, party. So I had to be ready. If there's anyone that's going to give you fashion advice, it's definitely going to be Anna. Yeah, for sure. She's so nice. I met her and I visited her offices and everything. And it was really, she's a really nice person. And uh, um, it was it was a really cool experience to meet with designers. You know, off the court, I think fashion is so interesting. And, um, you know, to be able to dress up, it's, it's just so different from what I normally do that I really enjoy it. 
Congratulations, by the way. Semi-final finish at Roland Garros. How are you feeling headed into Wimbledon? I'm feeling good. I think the surface change is always a little bit tricky, so uh, I've been having to adjust to that. But, you know, I won the juniors at Wimbledon two years ago, and coming back to Wimbledon is always so special. I have such good memories, so I feel a little bit at home. And I'm just really looking forward to, to the most traditional, classiest tennis tournament <laughs> of the year. <laughs> As one of WTA's rising stars, do you get intimidated by all this new media attention, or do you take it all in stride? I think I do take it in stride. It's something you have to deal with, and it's important to be able to know, um, to, to say no to some you know requests and and know how to balance it with of course my most important um, job during the day which is playing tennis and going to the gym um, but I think I've been doing it well since the beginning of the year so I'm proud of that and uh, you know it's actually kind of fun doing I mean walking this pink is it pink or red <laughs> pink pink red pink carpet sure. is um, you know it's fun getting dressed up I mean I enjoy the side of it for sure we enjoy seeing you on the carpet. So thank you. Have fun tonight. Good luck at the tournament. Thank you very Always much. great to see you. Okay, so next we're going to have Sloane Stevens get over here with that amazing dress. <laughs> this is really funny. Yes. I, I really love that this happens. Yes, me I, too. I like the shoes that you picked better, though, because they kind of elongate the legs. Yes, my legs are really, really long, so... Yes. I don't, I don't I always have really high heels and my legs are really long, so just to me, it's a good combination. Totally. I love the look with your hair, too. It's so cute. Thank you. Yes. Did you have a glam squad or did you do this masterpiece um, this yourself? This is mommy glam. This is mommy in the bathroom glam, yes. I love it. Your mom's got style. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> actually, I remember you saying last year she helped you pick out your outfit. Did she do the same this year? Yes, exactly. She actually picked this dress out for me um, probably like six months ago. Which is bad, but um, yeah, we went shopping um, somewhere, and she picked out a whole bunch of dresses for me, and this is one of them. So this is this is all mommy mommy attire. Nice work, mom. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what do you think? You've been to this party a couple times. What do you look forward to most when you get here? Uh, the food. I love food. Okay. Yeah. So I'm always looking forward to food all the time. What kind of food do they have up there? I haven't been yet. Well. I'm not sure what they have this year. They always change it. Every party they change it. But hopefully it's like good sushi or like good appetizers, like good finger foods. I really, I'm into that kind of stuff. <laughs> Absolutely. If you could bring any plus one up to the party, who would you bring and why? Um, Beyonce, so she could be my dance partner. Wouldn't that be great to have Queen Bee here? I mean, man. She's missed. She's definitely missed. <laughs> What about you on the dance floor? Are you a big dancer? Um, not really. The last couple of player parties have you know, busted out some moves, but you know, the time has to be right, the music has to be good, so we'll see. Beyonce only, or will some other music get you in the mood? Anything. Any music, good music with a good beat, and we'll see. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, good luck at Wimbledon. Have fun tonight, and I'll see you up there. Thank I'll you. look for the shiny dress. Yes, <laughs> Wonderful. Thank Bye. you, Sloan. All right, guys, so next we have Sabine Lasicki. Gorgeous, gorgeous in red once again. How are you? I'm good. So how did you choose this dress? Um, well, I was going through a few dresses, but okay. I picked this one up. <laughs> you, are, you are very good that you picked it because it looks Thank phenomenal. So what do you think? How are you feeling headed into Wimbledon? Very good. You know, it's my favorite tournament and I love it so much here and I can't wait to get on the court. I was going to say, I've been seeing all your social media posts all <laughs> week saying how excited you are to play on grass. Yes. Why is that your favorite surface? It's just a very special surface and Wimbledon has so many traditions that are just amazing and it gives it such a different touch that it's so much fun to play on it. London, aside from Wimbledon, of course, there's so many wonderful things to do while you're here. What are some of your favorite hotspots in London to check out? Well, usually I stay at Wimbledon. Um, we cook and we just stay in our house because there is not much time, but otherwise it's such a beautiful city, so there's so much to do. I can't pick one. <laughs> what do you think, as someone who's been to this party many times before, what really sets this party apart from all the rest of them out there? Oh, it's such a cool party, you know, and everybody's coming, it's it's easy, relaxed, and it's fun to dress up, so it's cool. It's so fun. And, you know, I've been asking a couple of the girls, I know sometimes these events are welcome distractions, but is it a little stressful knowing that you've got a big Grand Slam to prepare for? <laughs> um, yes and no. Okay. It's, it's fun to, you know, get to the city, to have an excuse to go to the city, um, so it's fun. <laughs> well, it's definitely worth it because you look gorgeous. You so Have fun. Good luck Thank next you. week. Thanks. Congratulations on everything. We've got the Red Vonska sisters. Come on in. Oh my gosh. Hello. Hi. Vision Hi. in red and white. So wonderful to see you guys. Polish. So yes. red and white. Flag. <laughs> nice work, by the way. Did you plan that? Uh, not really, actually. <laughs> so I have to ask you, between you two, who takes longer to get ready? Um, good question. Um, I think this time it was equal. Yes. Equal. And how, how many hours are we talking about? 
That was two hours? Almost, almost two, two hours, hours yes. So not, not that bad. And do you have a whole glam squad or do you guys do your own hair and makeup? No, actually we went here to uh, do makeup in the oil frame suit. Oh, so there. yeah, okay. so they help us out, you know, to look good today. Isn't that nice? I was in there for a little bit and I hadn't seen you guys I yet, you. but Oh you did! <laughs> I mean, it's so nice to get the pampering, to not have to do it yourself, and it's already a stressful enough experience, so to be able to just go there and let people glam you up is so nice. Yes, I think they're doing an amazing job, so, you know, every year they're really doing great jobs, so always happy to go there. Totally. Now, I know that you love the photo booth, yes. so are you both going to take to the photo booth and maybe do some goofy stuff? Of course, we had so many pictures from the photo booth, and then I had a you know little album at home, so we just have to do it, even if it's the queue is going to be so long, we're going to wait. And you know, this is my first time here at the party at Wimbledon, and I got all me, well, you know, there's a photo booth, <laughs> so that's the most important thing. Can you give the fans a little preview of some of the funny faces you might do? Oh, sure. Some of the poses? Yeah, okay. Okay. Funny? Yeah, like, in a row. Yeah, like, okay. Okay. <laughs> I see why you like that. You're really good at that. That's that's kind of good for like red carpet posing they too. Laughing, they laughing. <laughs> they all laughing. <laughs> very cute. So what did you tell her about the WTA party since you've never been here before? What are you looking forward to seeing? Well, uh, of course, I told her you know it's a big event, red carpet, so we really have to look nice and you know very good food, uh, nice music, and of course for the booth. So you know very good party. Uh, well, I know you guys are going to make it much more fun up there, so have a blast. Good luck at Wimbledon. Always great to see you. Thanks Thank for coming you. by. I will see you very soon. All right, so I have a nice surprise for all of you ladies out there. Of course, we know One Direction. I'm a huge fan of them. Well, they have a new sensation called Calabro. They just won Britain's Got Talent, and they are down at the other end of the carpet. So take a look at our second camera and check it out. And you are watching WTA Live on the red carpet, presented by Xerox. I am, of course, here with Yelena Yankovic. Stunning, as always. Tell us about this ensemble. I'm wearing a dress, uh, Dolce & Gabbana, mm. and uh, it's very long. And uh, have the dark lipstick. <laughs> Tried a completely different, different look from, yes, uh, from before. It. And the hair, too, slick back, so glamorous. It's lovely. A little bit different to what I'm used to and what I usually wear, but uh, it's fun. Why not? And you know, speaking of fashion, I don't know if you knew this, but you were actually voted best dressed on our WTATennis.com poll. So how does that make you feel? It makes me feel great. Um, thank you to the fans uh, for vo voting. Um, I love fashion. I love to experiment and try different looks. And uh, had a beautiful dress at the French Open designed by Jeannie Halfiger. Um, you know, for Fila, so um, it was really cool. Uh, I loved it. And where does your fashion sense come from? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, uh, like I said, I love to experiment. I love to try different looks. I never like to stick to the same things, and I just uh, love uh, playing around. That's the the fun of uh, fashion. 
As a female, are you someone that centers the look around a certain item? Like, do you start with the shoes or the purse or the jewelry or the dress or the hair and the makeup? Or do you just kind of picture Depends. the overall look? Depends on, on uh, what I have at the moment. Uh, this time I had the dress, um, so uh, we kind of completed the look uh, you know, due to the dress, so we put the, you know, uh, dark lipstick, the hair like that. It's a little, it's, uh, you know, I'm kind of uh, not used to looking, my, looking at myself like that. When I saw myself in the mirror, I was like, oh my God. It looks a little bit kind of gothic and uh, a little bit like um, the vampire. <laughs> uh, but uh, like I said, something different is always cool. I've been asking some of the girls this. There is so much media down there, media from all over the world. What goes through your mind as you step in front of the paparazzi and have to take all those pictures? Uh, to tuck my stomach in. <laughs> tuck the stomach in, uh, put the booty back. On the, on the dress, uh, you know, the heel gets stuck into the lace and all these kind of things. And uh, No, I'm just joking. I just walk and whatever, do whatever pose. I don't really mind. It's, <laughs> It's fun. And of course we have Grand Slam coming up Wimbledon. How are you feeling headed into the tournament? I'm feeling good, you know, health-wise. Uh, the only thing I gotta, you know, start loving the grass. That's my that's my thing. I, I do not really enjoy playing on grass. This is my worst surface, um, but I gotta start, you know, loving it. It's, uh, it's about time, so uh, to make, uh, you know, some kind of a result you know I want to make the second week that's my goal for now and we'll see how it goes so I'll try my best well, we will be rooting for you congratulations on everything good luck next week and I will see you inside in a little bit all right wonderful thank you JJ and of course next coming up come on in Dominika Sibolkova wow this dress is like wowzer thank you thank it's you gorgeous who's it by uh, excuse me Who's the dress by? Um, I, I don't know. I just bought it in America. <laughs> and I don't know. I you just know. know it looks fabulous. That's all Thanks you need to Thanks. Know. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so what do you think? What are you most looking forward to for tonight's party? Um, I just most look, I like when they do my hair and my makeup and we look different. You know, I'm, I'm a woman, so I like to be taken care of and look nice. So this is the main reason I was looking forward. Boys, take note. Women like to be taken care of and we like to look nice. We like nice things, yes. right? Yes, of course. <laughs> and I did see you in the Aura Flame style suite. How fun is it to have kind of an entourage as your glam squad to do your hair and makeup? Yeah, it's, it's really, it's a pretty interesting when you see all these girls, they, you know, they, they do their makeup and hair and we're all in the same room checking out the dresses and everything. So it's quite, quite uh, interesting. Did you have to try on a lot of dresses to find the one? No, there was the only one I brought with me. So. Oh, yeah, so I had only one, one, one pick, and yeah, that's it. I hope it's okay. <laughs> it absolutely is. Now, if you could bring a plus one to any party, who would it be and why? Uh, if I could bring somebody... One guest, yes, to any party, especially this party, who would you bring and why? My boyfriend. Yeah. It's nice to have the boys here. Yeah, 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 my boyfriend, <laughs> because we are um, getting along very really well, and I like to have him by my side all the time. Yeah. How are you feeling headed into Wimbledon? Actually, pretty, pretty good. And Wimbledon is always special. You know, there are only two, three tournaments in a year on grass. So, yeah, it's going to be tough in the beginning, but I hope I'm going to get through. And what do you think? I know London is just such a special place, not only for this party in Wimbledon, but what do you like to do here if you have any free time? Uh, it's always different because we, um, we always rent a house in Wimbledon. And uh, it's nice to stay there, to have something different than hotel. And, sure. and yeah, this is, I would say the most exciting part I, I do in Wimbledon because I don't have time to go to the city or yeah. to see different restaurants. Yeah. Well, what do you like to do to relax and kind of de-stress in between matches? Uh, actually, I bring um, always two or three books okay. and I read them during the tournament. When it's two weeks, it's even better for me. I can read my books. <laughs> so, yeah, it's fine. I like to watch movies and just to hang out with my, with my family and entourage. Sure. And any specific authors that you like? Um, right now I'm reading this um, Ion Esbo. He's from um, Norway and he's really good. He's like kind of a uh, detective. I don't know how to say it in English. <laughs> A detective? Yeah, 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 yeah. About killers and some stuff like that. A little like crime, drama, yeah, yeah, yeah. suspense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, good luck at the tournament. Have a blast tonight, and I'll see you up there really quickly. All right, perfect.
All right, so it has been so much fun on the red carpet. There is so much action happening. Take a look down that carpet. I'm going to show you the second camera because it is going crazy. Paparazzi. There's media here from all over the world. We're talking Sports Illustrated, the BBC, Grazia Magazine, and of course WTA. So we have Jeannie Bouchard with us actually one more time. She's going to be coming down the red carpet once again very shortly. And you know what? We actually... This is very cool. We were really lucky to spend a day in the life of Jeannie because I always want to know what does it take to get ready for a glamorous event like this if you are a world superstar. So take a look. Here is the day in the life of Jeannie Bouchard. WTA All Access got the chance to follow up and coming Canadian star Eugenie Bouchard as she and her mother were getting ready for the big party night out in London. Um, well, I'm going to go get ready. I'm all... Okay. <laughs> I need, I need to say I'm like not looking good right now. Um, um, so I'm going to the Wimbledon party tonight, but first I'm going to make a stop at the Oriflame Style Suite to get um, all glammed up and ready. I just came out of the shower, so I need to get my hair and makeup done and uh, then go to the party. So this is the first time you've been to the Wimbledon party? Yeah, it's my first time. Um, it's the first time playing Wimbledon in the pros, so I'm really excited and uh, I think it'll be a cool night. Um, I don't know what to expect. I think uh, everyone's just going to be dressed up and I think it's fun to, you know, be able to let our hair down and wear something other than a tennis skirt. So um, it'll be fun to be in normal clothes. Do you feel nervous at all? Any nerves about who you might meet there this evening? Um, no, not nervous. More just excited and, um, you know, just to socialize a bit and then uh, before getting focused and ready for next week. Right. You have to sit there. So where do we sit? Seatbelts, everyone. With the WTA, uh, they gave me a website to go on matchesfashion.com and uh, I was able to choose a few dresses that I like. So I will be wearing an Alexander McQueen dress tonight, which is really cool. Um, it's kind of, it has blue and black on it. So um, I'm really excited to wear it. Yeah. How long did it take you to, to this song? A long time. <laughs> yeah, I went through the website a few times looking at each dress and, but it's something I like doing. So, you know, it was, it was uh, not a waste of time for sure. It's, it's something that I enjoy looking at. Did you, Julie, did you have an input in it as well? Did you give an opinion? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> well, she asked me my opinion, and um, I mean, obviously, it's hard to make a choice. So many of them are so beautiful, but um, yeah, in the end, we agreed. Yep. On three, they sent over three, and yeah. she tried them on at the hotel and made a final choice, so you'll be seeing it later. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Jeannie, nice to meet you. Something like that? Yeah, well, we went to the Champions Ball together last year. I was her date. And, um, no, it's great to, I mean, you know, I try to stay in the background. It's, it's all about her. So it's, it's great. I mean, I'm happy for her to see her gotten to this point and so I'm happy to see her um, reaping the benefits. Oh my God, Mom, look at my hair. <laughs> It's been really fun, uh, taking pictures with the friend, the girls here, some of my friends, and um, you know, just getting to meet people, socialize a little bit. And was the red carpet all you expected? Yeah, it was actually more. There were you know, a bunch of fans and everyone, and a lot of photographers. It was a really cool moment to be on the red carpet. <laughs> Bye guys, see you next time. <laughs> Hi, Serena. Hi. We are live on WTA Live. So good to see you. Thank you. You look fabulous as always. Is this Burberry? Yes, I always try to wear Burberry. They're such a great designer and Christopher's such a good friend, so it's great. How many outfits did you have to try on tonight to find the perfect ensemble? Well, they sent like 20, so I just had so many to pick from. How do you feel about events like this? I know you love fashion, you love getting dressed up. Is it a welcome distraction from the Grand Slam coming up next week? 
you know, I guess sometimes you you know you're get so focused, you sometimes just want to just do the job at hand, you know. But obviously, this is something that I think all the players really enjoy and really enjoy to come out to, and they have a lot of fun out here. And it's you know the WTA always does such a good job, and so it's great. As a previous Wimbledon champion, how are you feeling headed into this year's tournament? I feel okay, you know, I'm going to enjoy myself and have fun and, and honestly just do the best I can and whatever that is, that's what I'm going to try to do. And you know, speaking of fun, I saw you were in Florida a little bit ago having some, a lot of fun. You actually crashed a wedding. Tell us about that. Uh, it was accidental. I was just sitting on the beach and they were like, can you please take a wedding picture? And I'm like, I don't, I have on a swimsuit. And they were like, yeah, well, we don't care, please. And I was like, okay, why not? Special moment for that couple, yeah, though, so right? Happy they were, and I felt good because they were just so happy. And I was, if I can make you happy, then that's great. Mm -hmm. All right, so you have to set the record straight because your sister was here a little bit earlier, and we actually asked her who took longer to get ready. Yeah. So who who is it? You or her? Um, I'm gonna say she did, just because she I don't did. like telling the truth sometimes. <laughs> She actually, I might get her in trouble, but she actually said that you took longer because you enjoyed the process of getting ready. It's kind of relaxing for you. Is that true? It's, it's, um, I definitely don't, wouldn't say it's relaxing. I always get a little stressed, but, uh, it's okay. You know, it is what it is. And I hear that you guys borrow each other's clothes. You kind of take things from each other's closets. How do you like that? Well, the ones of hers that I can fit. She's so thin. I, sure. I still hate her for that, but. You know, I'm embracing my curves and, oh, you, you know. <laughs> what do you think is most special about this party? Because I know people look forward to it. It's one of the most glamorous of the year. What makes this party so incredible? Well, it always has such a great following. All, all the players come out for it. It's such a good background and wonderful sponsors. Um, and it's great. It's just an opportunity, like you said earlier, for all the players to have fun. Well, have fun up there tonight. Good luck at Wimbledon. We'll be watching for you. I know. I have goosebumps. Thank you so much, Serena. We will see you very soon. All right. Well, that is a wrap for me on the red carpet. I had an absolute blast tonight. It was a little cold, but so much fun. And I want to thank you to our partner, Xerox, for making this show possible. I hope you guys watching had a great time as well. Now, our next show is actually coming up August 4th in Montreal at the Rogers Cup, so I hope you can join us. And also, I should mention, this Saturday, Saturday, all of you that have been submitting your All Access Hour fan cast questions, we are going to be unveiling the winners this Saturday. All the players are going to be answering your questions, and we're also going to be showing you the best moments from tonight, so be sure to tune in. All right, guys, that's a wrap for me. I'm Kristen Aldridge. I think I better go get my dance on inside. It's time to take these heels off. We'll see you next time. Bye.